Hello guys, this is Asmore2019 today, and because I haven't been uploading for a while, I thought I'd do a Doctor Who, um, watch my collection video, because, one, I just want two, and two, I know some people in my school also like it, so, I've, and obviously I've been watching quite a few videos on YouTube, um, where they've done this, so, I thought I might as well do it as well. Now, obviously, like most, um, this is going to be split into probably about three parts. And if not, I don't think, if not three, I think the most number of parts will come down to is four. Um, but anyway, I'm just, today I'm going to be showcasing some of my cards, my books, my figure collection, and a lot of other stuff. So, I'm going to start off with a box here. I've got, if you'll just excuse me for a second. This is most of the box for Tyone of the Doctor Who collection. This is more of the um, 9th and 10th eras rather than the... 11th era and the um, classic eras. Um, almost there. Um, so, for a start, we have three of the Doctor Who file books mm. um, the Cult of Scarrow, the Cybermen, and the Daleks, which, as, no, not the Daleks, the Sl Slovene, should I say, um, which, as the name suggests, is just common facts. Um, novel wise we have The Clockwise Man The Stone Rose um, The Stealers of Dreams Only Human The Monsters Inside Winner Takes All Deviant Strain um, so excuse that that's just my f not my phone but um, grandma's phone so I'm just going to have to keep it down for a second um, Sting of the Zygons Wooden Heart the Last Dodo, Forever Autumn, The Resurrection Car Casket, and the, what did I say? Feast of the Drowned. Sorry, I was looking at my phone screen, so I couldn't read out the text. Um, and I've read most of these when I was quite young, but I may read them again at some time again. You know, to get more of a proper gist of it, because, to be honest, when I was younger, I just read them for the sake of reading them, and if I read them again now, I'd probably get, I'd probably understand more what's happening. Um, next, I have, um, actually, let's go to the tin here. This isn't really used for anything Doctor Who-wise, but I've got this Dalek tin. Um... Made in 2004, it says. Oh, that's what the copyright says anyway. Name Babs has got bookmarks, so that's not too interesting, but it's something. Um, I've got a Doctor Who pencil case. With pencils in. As the name suggests again. Um... I've got this Doctor Who 3D cast metal keyring with antique pewter finish, which is the Doctor Who logo. It's got a tar I've got it's got a nice TARDIS look in the background of the card, which I quite like. Um, and then I've got these three pens, and if you push them down, they make noises, but only one of them works now because I think. Even me or my sister overworked them, but anyway, I've got this Cyberman one. So, aside from that, it's really just a pen, but... Um, that's one that works, I'll show you that one last. That one's for Judoon. Um, and then we have the Dalek one, the one which actually works. There's plenty of different noises, so there's like the Doctor Who theme. There's Daleks talking. I 
I think that's all the catchphrases. Let me just check. Yeah, that's all the catchphrases. So I'll move on now to my um, card collection. And obviously, I'm not going to show you all the cards because I've got a ma the majority of them. But I'm going to show you all the sets and show you um, which ones there were at the time. Because I've heard that there is a new set um, which isn't actually related to this one, but um, is based on the current series of Doctor Who rather than the previous two. Um, now I'm just going to show you like the cases. Um, there's, um, let me just, let me attempt to find them in order. Um, I kind of need one of each. This could take a little while. Um, this is going to take me forever to find these bottom two. Um, just bear with me a second, people. So when you've got such a big collection and you keep all the tins at the bottom, um, that one will do because I can't. I'm not going to look for two separate cases. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. My good set almost fell out there. That's not a good sign. Um, um, the only sets I am actually going to showcase hard wise are the um, like the miniature ones or like spin off ones because they're just like li mini. Editions, you might say. The car collection. When I can find this other one. Oh wait, is that it? Found it. So, um, what you could get were Exterminator, Annihilator. These were the first two. They didn't normally look like this at first. So one would be like this dark side, just one, and then the other one would be the Cyberman. That would be. Two different sets, but sometimes they'd release them like that, and it works the other way around. Oh, I don't think I need that one. Um, then we have Invader, which is more like these ones. Ultimate Monsters, Devastator. Um, I'll show you the other two in a minute, because I'm just going to explain how the cards actually work. There are five or six categories. Um, there is human, um, just hold on a second, I'll just find a small pack of cards to demonstrate. Um, yeah, there's human, hero, alien, robot, um, there's two or three more. Monster, I think there's another one, Dalek, um, is there another one? Oh, then there's like these special keys which don't actually have a subcategory but have like these on, or the one of them with like red and white lines. Um, that's about it. See, and also quite like far in in the 900s or thousands. Yeah, there's that many cards. Um, there are some. There's a small subcategory called um, the Tardis Crew, and that's the Tardis Crew from the episode Journey's End, I think. And apparently, if you join all these cards together, it creates a continuous. Um, picture of the TARDIS crew in the TARDIS which I didn't know until a while ago so next we have oh wait a second um, so next we have this little TARDIS case here which contains the um, special one-off packs as well um, the Daleks versus Cybermen packs um, first of all obviously we have the Dalek pack now, obviously, I'm gonna sh I said I was going to showcase these cards. Um, we have Dalek Mutant, 
Dalek with Buzzsaw Weapon. Damaged Dalek. Dalek Exterminator Attack. Dalek Sucker Attack. Dalek Emperor. Dalek Sec Hybrid. Dalek Underwater Mode. And Dalek Sec. There is. Um, oh wait, what was. I don't know what I was going to say. Then. Um, I'll just pop these back and then I'll run through the Cybermen side. And then we can get on to the adventure cards. That was all of them. Well, actually, there's one more thing I need to show you after I've shown you the um, actual cards themselves in this particular set. But for the moment, actually, I'll pop that back in a minute. So now we've got the Cyberman cards. I think there's nine per pack. There's the Cyber Controller, Cyberman Electro Attack, Cyberman in Pain, Cyberman, Cyberman Demolish, uh, Advanced Guard. Cyber controller attacking, Cyberman group, and Cyber leader. Um, I was supposed to mention this before, but um, there are categories for the cards. Now, as you might have noticed, in some of the on some of the cards, you might have seen a C or an R. And these, if you didn't know this, um, this stands for like how common or rare that particular card is. So, like if it's C, it's common. R is rare. Um, S is super rare, and U is ultra rare, um, and there is a, apparently a very expensive card that there are only a few copies of called the Golden Ticket Super Rose card, which doesn't actually count in the total 1,075 cards, but counts as an additional card card and there is one other additional card which doesn't actually count I don't think and it is called the psychic paper and even though it's not called that I class it as the zero card because it comes with the um, issue one starter set of the Doctor Who Battles in Time comic which coexists with the cards which I also have a collection of which I will show you in probably part three because part two will no doubt be released in um, at my house, my old house, which is my pop house. So anyway, with the TARDIS thing, you get um, a normal dice, a dice with Daleks and Cybermen on, and these little things, that, which I think are players, called Daleks and Cybermen, and there's a board game in the comic book, which allows you to play a game of Daleks versus Cybermen, and you get to choose your own side. And it's basically um, just seeing who's who wins according to your game. Um, I'll just put these back, and I might need to make a quick one for Lou in a second. But um, actually, I'll go now, and I'll be as quick as I can, guys, so that I can continue on with this in a second. So. Just excuse me. Who knows my mum? Who knows my mentor? What for? I won't. Can't you put the thing up? Where are you going? No, no, no.
No, because it will stop the recording. And I don't want to name it part one, one out of two, part one, two out of two. Are you ready? Because mum's in the car, you know what she's like. It's not, is she? Yeah. Time, is it? Oh, well, guys, I'll continue on with that later, this this part. So, um, I'll probably call that a part three. I'll probably include that in part three. Um, but anyway, the last pack is called the Adventure Pack. I'll include that in part three. I need to quickly run this upstairs. So, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Yeah. Side of the Just put them okay, stay tuned for more videos, walkthroughs, um, and updates. Hope you all enjoyed the video and um, look out for part two. So.